Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All the beautiful people. I see you. I see all of you in chat. Happy Saturday. Let's do that roll call, shall we? Starting off with the usual first. Calero, followed by NADZD. Dave Hammer. Good morning. Wit in the house. Eric W. Glenn Sullivan, cocky chick. Adam G, good morning. Streamlabs bot, hello. <laughs> Brett. Good morning, good morning. So for those of you who have not been indoctrinated yet, we now have echoes. It's like uh, magic internet points, except we call them echoes. Yes, very original name, I know. But long story short, you get one point for every 10 minutes that you watch. And then you can use those points to buy tickets for different little raffles. For instance, it's how we will probably be naming dupes in the future. You can wager up to 10 tickets. You know, those sort of things. I have heard some some weirdness happening with like watching on consoles and maybe on the mobile spaces. So, you know, apparently Streamlabs and YouTube have some kinks to work out for what they consider a live user. Not to, not to be confused with an active user, but it does say that it's supposed to reward lurkers just as much. So, there's that. Let's go ahead and hit unpause and see how we're doing. Last I remembered, we're actually doing well for the first time in a very long time. Looks like... 24 cycles to our next activity. So that is somewhat problematic, but it just means that... These two... Liquid reservoirs have to make it... 24 cycles. Which I think we both know is not gonna happen. So let's follow the chain of events, right? We are also supplementing with our... Our pee? Our waste? I don't... I don't know what dupes do. Hmm. Um... But following that chain... So we would lose access to fertilizer. But not really, because we have a ton of fertilizer in back stock. So I don't think that's a big deal. And then our trees would go dormant. Which would cause... The ethanol distilleries to go out. Depending on how much... Well, all the lumber is coming up just like this. Oh, somebody got sick in a suit. Way to go. But we have a lot of lumber sitting on the ground. So I think that would actually make it. I mean, we have, what is this, 550,000 units? Turn the mic up. Mic is now up. Let me know what you think. I'm wondering if... I'm wondering what's changed about that. I have a tickle in my throat for some reason already this morning. I've been streaming for a total of five minutes, and I have a tickle. Much better. Okay, we're just not going to touch that lever ever again. You don't, you will notice that we have a couple of cuddle pips. Remember, we said we were going to feed the cuddle pips, didn't we? Hmm. Where would we put said cuddle pip thimble reed? Maybe we could just drop one tree. Oh, maybe we can put it right here. This looks like a good enough spot. We'd lose like a half a tree thing. I don't see any other secret. Will Sweepies pick up liquids? 
might be worth stationing one near the dock. Yes, they will pick up liquids. That wouldn't bad it be a bad idea. Maybe we'll look to do that later, too. I think, yeah, I think we're going to try something like this. Just like this. I mean, it doesn't... Only eliminating two branches of a total of five on a wild tree is not really going to affect us very much. So I'm not too worried. I think it's fine. Now, is the water coming through there? Oh, the water is coming through there. Perfect. And the temperature? 25, 26 degrees. Not shabby. But, of course, we still don't have Thimble Reed. But eventually, eventually we will. Because today... We're going to space. Yes, I keep forgetting that we're, we don't have Thimble Reed. And then Calera yells at me. Like, what kind of map doesn't have Thimble Reed? It's a Travis Seed, is what it is. <laughs> Not to be confused with Travesty. It's a Travis Seed. Oh. This is good. Looks like we're rocking... 24 27 27 total uh, critters or slicksters which means this food's about to start skyrocketing why do we have a gas reservoir overheating I, it's made out of oh the reservoir below it why how's how are we past Hmm, apparently we're injecting... Oh, here's why. Here is why, right here. So, when you use a temperature shift plate and you put it right next to an insulated tile like this, it will directly inject that heat into an insulated tile. Hence the reason these tiles have all gotten a little, a little warm. We gotta figure some stuff out here too, though, today. I'm tired of worrying about whether or not stone hatches are eating too hot materials. So for now, why don't we open this back up? We gotta get in here. Why did I insulate this tile? Why are you insulated? I guess we're gonna find out now. This is all looking good though. 181 degrees. On that side, 165 on this side. Why couldn't one of you caverns just have a little bit of thimble reed? Hmm. I think we said we were going to do something different with this too, didn't we? Yeah. Because it's going to mess up the smart batteries. Oh, I remember doing this. Why did I do this? Why? I can't remember what. I think it was to get in there to fix the wiring. Is that all we did? It's a vacuum now anyways. We'll figure it out. We got to have our sort of priorities, right? This turns back on in three and a half cycles. So glad I got rid of that vent. I really wanted to keep these battery modules because I think they really are a good way to store that much energy. But they're never going to allow these smart batteries to... I'm not sure how that's going to work. And when we do start... What's going on in here? Are we just not using that much oxygen? 
Chat. Danger. We're in danger. We're out of water. We're in danger. But we have soda. We do have soda. No, it's just this uh, cool steam vent. Did not last out enough. Apparently, even with our calculated average output of 1.09, which means we could support one electrolyzer. 100% of the time. But we don't need one electrolyzer 100% of the time. Because we don't have eight dupes over here. But we're just going to have to go a little bit lower with this. Fill her back up. Thank you. Fill her back up. Rhett, stop using common sense. We don't want to prioritize oxygen over soda. More soda. Good idea. How are we doing on oxygen? It looks like I caught it plenty of time. I mean, we still have lots of oxygen here. That must have, must have just happened. This is why we do the quick call and a review before we start getting into projects. Because you never know what last week Echo didn't do. Hmm? See how I made this about me again? Uh, let's scoop all this up, right? Let's, yeah, we need to get all this cleaned up. What did we do with the oil? We're... Okay, so we have some oil here. What did we do with the oil? Oh, we have one right here. This little nice little section here. Now this, you have to be careful with eventually. Because it's spe more overheat. This should calm down here in a minute. Now that we're not directly injecting it into it, it's going to take a while. Yeah, the sweep stuff is going to be very, very hot. I'm not too concerned about it because it's going to be swept in right here and it'll be averaged with everything else that's sitting here so the temperature shouldn't be bad shouldn't be bad you know what that's a one cool thing we could do we should put a nice little uh, i guess all we have is copper right now we'll put a little radiant liquid pipe right there but because they're on granite right now we don't have to worry about them loading it up with hot igneous rock. So I don't mind if they give it a quick sweep. That needs to be mopped. You're ruining everything over here. Now the wheeze warts we're going to make go away. We do have a nice cooling loop now. I mean, we're actually growing bristle blossoms. I mean, that is wondrous. I think the command is exclamation gift and then the user and then the amount. But remember, it will remove your stuff. Your tickets, your echoes, your hard earned echoes. We do have some glass here. That's kind of neat. We have a nice little, it's a small industrial sauna, right? So it is going down. I don't... But that's the reason why these battery modules... ...will never go further down, because as long as we have enough power... ...we're sort of wasting all of this. Because these battery modules are never going to lose more than... ...20 kilojoules. Because it's based on the automation of these smart batteries. So I kind of want to set up a little smart battery thing. 
just because they're the same size didn't work uh, oh your command stream bot give all my echoes <laughs> Oh, I'm slow on the uptake today. I do have my old gray, though. The question is, do we waste dupe labor getting this repaired? Well, they're going to keep repairing it. Do So do we waste dupe labor and ores? Because these could be a while before they... actually cool down. But I don't, that's the problem though, is we would have to create more liquid or gas reservoirs. Speaking of which, this thing's about to go active again in three cycles. And we're sitting on all this. Probably because this hydrogen generator hasn't been running. There's our oxygen flowing again. I'm very surprised about these tiles, though. Small pocket of water up top? Ooh, there is a little bit of water here. But we have plenty of water! I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, look at all this gorgeous water. I mean, it's a little. They have enough water here. Especially now with Rhett's prioritization bridge. Of course, it only prioritizes it to this point, so it's not actually going to do too, too much. Other than until the last few drops will always go to the oxygen instead of going to the soda. But, I think we start by getting rid of these battery modules here. Creating a cool little battery box right here. And I think we can seal it in. And we might as well go get Nat's... ...water. Because I'm tired of her yelling at me. She's yelling at me, chat! Alright, um... How are we gonna do this? We'll come in here through here, right? No big deal. No, then we'll set up a little wall. We'll put a liquid pump right here. Something like this. Hmm. I actually think it'd be better to go in low. Go in like this. Like... Yes! Now we're talking... So this is project number one. This will be project number two, at least for Nutriolano. We can probably start by putting a nice, beautiful, just row. I don't know how many we're going to use. So let's say it'll be like this. Why is that? Uh-oh. One, two, three, four. I was about to mess the whole thing up. Why... Why wasn't this built tall enough? The symmetry is gone! Screw it. We're invested now. The steam turbine's ruined it anyways. We're gonna kill all the symmetry. Alright, so we have this going here. Do we have any local... Oh, I guess we have a little bit here. Got plenty of lead. I love having lead. It is so nice. We'll just cut right through here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Beep. And then we could probably put... I mean, can we make fire poles? Do we have enough raw resources? Nah, I don't... 
We're not actually going up there too often, so I think this is fine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. All right, I think they're set here for a little while. They have 87,000 calories, plenty of oxygen. How are we doing on granite? 200 tons, yeah, so we're fine on granite for a while. Now over to Lushura. Well, sure is about to go into major excess food, and we're start to, we're about to start to waste a lot. They can now leave the. No, oh, they. Can't. Oh. Well, that's awkward. I guess we'll have to do something like this for now until we figure that out. Great job, Colero. You should award yourself five echoes. It'll be good practice, too. Let me see if I can remember the command. Oh, now I'm gonna have to go fix this. Alright, Ghost Rider, you need to come inside. Uh... You... need to go back outside. Okay? Yep, Adam, you too. There we go. Was the command award? I don't remember the command. I also don't know if it worked. Ghost Rider, good morning. All right, here we go. We're going to take the muck route. Hmm. Did everybody get fixed? Are all the... S Why do we have wrong element damage? What is going on? That must have been a temporary hiccup of hydrogen, maybe? Did I make any more catastrophic mistakes here? I don't believe so. I think we're good for now. Well, that only takes a second to figure it out. Commands. I did turn off the uptime since YouTube doesn't want to give us uptime reports. Old. Old. I found it. You can use exclamation add echoes or exclamation add points. And that'll that'll give you the, the magic. That will give you the magic. It is a fancy new bot, Mutt. It's so shiny. SHINY! My apologies to your eardrums. Alright, so... Let's pick up some of this stuff in the background. We don't need it. Bristol Blossom's are looking good. We're only running double speed right now. You've become the top of my hit list, robot. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Dave, it's not going to work for non-mods. <laughs> oh, Dave just tried to give himself a million echoes. I appreciate the attempt. We're just going to let this suffer. Because... The, the, there's only a couple things we could do. We could deconstruct it. Well, we could actually throw more gas reservoirs, dump them. I mean, I guess that's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. Especially considering... It 
Especially considering that the... Ooh, I have an idea. Let's re-inject the cool temperatures back into the insulated tile. <laughs> well, what was the gift command? I thought I said that the correct way. Yeah, exclamation give space name of who you're trying to give it to. And then the amount. No, you're fine, Dave. One million points! Alright, so... It does ha- it is having an effect. Temperature shift plate is going up. Gas reservoir is going down. The insulated tile, though... Is going down, but very, very, very slowly. Now we've just extended this mistake. But the insulated tile, you'll see, it is going down in temperature. I mean, that's a lot of heat. I just don't know how it's being injected into it, unless it's the liquid. Is the liquid making it... And we haven't been running it for that long. I guess we have. It is cycle 900. Okay, this is not working. So let's go destroy those. Background buildings only. Look at that great team. Look at that team. Oh, that's like a good family picture right there. All right, so let's just make another one. Uh, I guess right here will be will work just fine. This looks large. It's because this is short. Why is this only three tiles? What is going on with me? All right. We will go here, here, here. Should we add more? Let's add, let's add all of the storage. We only have oxygen for these amount of dupes. Ooh, and for some reason this was not insulated. Oh, because it's going through insulated tiles. That would be why. All right, so we're gonna bring it out here. We're going to have it go straight down in here. Now, do I want to do my little meter section? Yeah, I like doing this way because it allows you to sort of look at it as a meter. Because if you know this one is empty, this one's empty, and you have all these full, it kind of just helps you read it, I guess. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. But we'll also need to dump all of this into here. So for now, we will do one of these numbers. Okay, watch this. This is going to be cute. I'm going to separate it there. And that way we can keep feeding the beast. Uh, that's the wrong pipe, Echo. Welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Like this. But all of it's going to be emptied. Like this? Maybe? Yeah, just to just until we get it finished, right? So it'll load it, it'll dump all this, load it into these. What do you mean you cannot reach that? What? 
What is going on? Nat! Why? Like, obviously your head was about to be entombed. Oh, Nat. I love that one. That's probably my favorite because it's got such the cool animation. <laughs> the NW, you will not stand for this. <sighs> well, I'll tell you what, management can't stand for that either because that employee was clearly not following protocol. Clearly. Leave yourself at least one tile gap to climb in and out of. The rule book is simple, Whiskey. The rule book is simple. Nat ZD clearly violated those rules and now will be subject to disciplinary action. We have even more lead down here. We have a lot of lead. Oh, yes. Axton hit the nail on the head. More safety training. Yes. We're going to start with some computer based training. That's going to take you 40 hours. And then we're going to be in especially good company and say that you have to do it over the weekend. All right. Oil flows here. This is the oil issue I was talking about earlier. That oil is at 98 degrees. That's not oil we want to be using. They should be finished with this soon. Um, now, on Lashura, the primary project, I think it's got to start... Well, we're going to space, okay? Before everybody starts thinking that I'm going back on the space idea, we're not. We're going to space. I promise. But... We also need to um, get infinite food storage going. Because we're about to climb super high... Because of all these. Where are... Are we still manually doing this? Ew! Ew! Okay. Well, we know what we need to do. We are going to make a little, uh... A little evolution area. Where the Slickers will be able to evolve in peace. What do we have here? Oh, that's why... Because we need steel. <laughs> Ugh. This is pricey. There's one. Look at all of them. Oh, yes. Easy going. Easy. Um, Glenn says, it doesn't look like lurkers are getting points. And that makes me mad because if you go to streamlabs.com and you can search around their thing, there is literally a thing that says... Uh, Like, even lurkers are supposed to get points. I don't know if mad's the right word. Annoyed. Annoyed's probably the right word. That's a lot. And now we gotta waste even more. But the question is where we're gonna go. Um, we could go directly into here, but that would cause a lot of problems. What I think we do... ...is we extend this. So this is a cheeky little thing I've done before. I think we'll extend it by... yay? Hmm. 
what we're gonna do is first we need to stop this pipe because we're actually gonna want to use this oil because we are gonna drown the slixers in their own oil so we're gonna get in here there'll be a door right here no right here this is the way okay Just like this. Now, what we can do... Oh, so lucky! Um... Yeah, this is gonna work nice. How did... You okay, you're getting up and down through there. That's fine. You're gonna trap yourself, Scry. You're gonna trap yourself. Thank you. Travis, why are you just standing there? Can- are we not- Thank you, Wit. Thank you. You've saved Slucky's life. Alright. We need a door here. Just like this. In fact... In fact... Yes! It's starting to come together, chat. It is starting to come together. Oh, yes. Alright, what we're gonna do... ...is this is also... ...going to be liquid storage. Okay, this is a huge amount of liquid storage... ...right here. Perfect. Yes. Yes. And the eggs are going to be all dropped off right here. So we will not need this anymore. We're still going to keep our incubators here. But actually this needs to go over by one because we need to have ladders there. Ooh, that's built out of iron ore. That would have been a mistake. That's going to get way too hot. And that way, we only need one pump, too. Steel. Because all of these... ...can be mesh tiles. Just not right now, because we don't want to lose all this carbon dioxide. You'll see, chat. You'll see. Ethanol, bristleberry, ethanol. We're also slowly getting through this to clear space for our, our small space program. And we need some place for our infinite food. I th We're going to keep these slicksters going for a little while because we need the food. Or we need the coal. I don't know why we need coal, we just need coal. You know how that goes. Our kitchen right now is... Eh? This is naphtha. Uh... Computer? Yes, can I get a look up on some naphtha, please? Oh, I gotta play the spelling game with it. Oh, it doesn't solid until minus 50. Hmm. I need to deconstruct. I'm thinking I could use this right here. As a deep freezer. It's kinda close. Or I could just create another one right here. I mean, that's only 62 kilos of steam. We'd be fine getting in there. <laughs> right? 
This seems like just the stu amount of stupid that I would do. Why is there steam in here? Oh, the polluted water's flashing. It's getting too hot in here. I guess it doesn't matter if it's a steam and swirly mix. Because all the heat's controlled by right here. One tile floating in the new liquid room. Thank you, Nat. Um, this is going to need some ladders, though. And these are just temporary ladders, so we'll just do the every other one. Brilliant. Brilliant! Chat, you're gonna love this, okay? You are gonna love this. Uh, what's the... I don't even know why I'm looking. This is plenty hot. Or pl plenty withstanding. Melting point in 668. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, yes? Yes, I think this is gonna be, like Rhett says, the exact amount of stupid. Um, wait till you see tomorrow's episode, chat. I've even out-stupided myself. Like, it's bad. It's, it's extremely bad. Like, I was actually surprised at how bad I was. And Nat's trying to be nice, calling it, I'm not stupid, I'm just special. No, this is beyond special. Um... Building entombed? Oh, wow, we're, we're... What? 182 degrees? Chat, why is the oxygen 232 degrees out here? Oh, we have a... We just had a straight-up bug. That natty gas only comes out at 150. It's only 150, though. It's not 209. All right, well, we're getting rid of this plan. There's something weird going on. All right, so it's going to come in here. And we'll just allow it to escape. Like this. And we're going to put all the reservoirs in here. We're going to do it. What are we, three tiles high? I mean, that's perfect. Look how much space for activities. Not a lot of space for activities. I'll be honest. There's some lovely sour gas in here. We're going to have to get in and destroy eventually. Hmm. Is there a non-neutronium tile down here? There's one. But not anywhere close to here to be transferring. Either way, it's not 200 degrees in here. So why is it 200 degrees out here? Like, this is just a bug, is all that is. Igneous rock. 424 degrees. 
Igneous Rock, 1126. Ding, ding, ding. We found it. So if I take Calera right here, it's because I should have let them complete the temperature shift plates. By not, by canceling those five temperature shift plates. Because when you finish your temperature shift plate, it starts off at like 40 degrees. So, but by not doing that, There you go. There you go. Yes. Yes. Great job, Calero. Alright, we still got some more pieces, though. Nat, I hope you didn't bring... I hope you guys aren't bringing new igneous rock. Now look, the temperature shift plate is 48 degrees. It's magic. Anything else? This one's 48. This one's 58. We just need to use this one little piece right here. And there it goes. Yes. Woo. Yep. It's an easy uh, heat deletion method. But because they were grabbing the Ingus Rock, which is fine. Uh, you can stay... Here. We don't need 30 tons. But I still want you to pick that up. Where are you going with that igneous rock? Where are you going with the igneous rock? Oh, you were just dropping it off. You still have the sweep command. I get it. I get it. And now we can shut this thing forever and ever again. All, oh, nope, not yet. Apparently, we couldn't grab all the obsidian. And with the last little bit, that heat will be deleted. Boom. Now, there's no more hot igneous rocks in here. You can destroy them. There it is. Uh, so we're gonna have to work on this. This is gonna be a dumpster fire for a while. I'm thinking... We get rid of this ladder rung. I think we can do this. Ooh, there's sour gas in here. So when I get there, I'm gonna have to manually do this. Because I'll destroy- it's only 18 grams of sour gas, but it'd still make problems for our steam turbines. So... yeah. Yeah, somebody, um, if you don't- if you're bored, you can do the Google and find out why Streamlabs is not counting lurking. Because I'm a full supporter of people who lurk. I, myself, am a lurker. I don't even like it when... Starvation? So lucky you've gotten stuck, haven't you? Hmm... Four hundred and twenty-five calories? Well, that's not good. We're not gonna wait for a building. We're just gonna destroy some stuff. Go! Run, Salucky! Run! Go get fo- Nope, you don't have time to breathe! Oh, I love it when dupes do this. Like, clearly, they're gonna starve to death really quick. 270. 254, chat. Woo! Oh. 
Oh. That was close. That was really close. Anybody else getting stuck? Ladder's built. Let's build the ladders first. I mean, I'm just trying to have a good time with my chat. Duplicants are not liking it. This is going to work, though. This is going to be beautiful. The only, only downside of this is we're going to have to come up with a lot more drywall. And the drywall situation around here really stinks. We just don't have many materials. I don't know how this got all cattywampus. This is extremely cattywampus. Look at this little three gap right here. But it'll have to do. We need all these materials. I want them all. I want them now. Destroy this. Save the game. Please excuse me while I build ladders and the such. I need to get all this dug up. And why would I build them there? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay. Almost? Nope. Oh, no, nope, not that. That would be bad. Is anybody going to get stuck? I don't think so. But you know how that goes. It's not YouTube that controls the bot. It's Streamlabs itself. And what it looks like is happening is because it's something to do... Maybe YouTube doesn't count lurking. I don't know. But Streamlabs itself is set up, and I verified it last week, that um, you can lurk. And there's this specifically says, you know, one point for how X amount of time in this case, Echoes. And it's regardless of lurking. Now, I can give bonus points for active users, but... Doc No says, Wish there was a way to have ladders always at a higher priority than dig commands. Well, there is. Naturally, ladders are a higher um, priority than dig commands. Because building is always done before digging. So unless you have a duplicate that has double up arrows in digging, or a digging priority that's higher than building, they will always do building before they do digging, if everything is equal. The problem that we get into is in situations like this, right? True here will be like, oh, well, I'm going to start digging this out, and he'll dig himself into a hole that they can't get out of. because And that was just based on location, not on priority. So it's... You still gotta watch them. But the priorities are not necessarily the issues. Because they would rather... We're still dealing with gas. Oh, this is ugly. We're getting there. Let's, uh, one steely boy here. We actually were gonna... Get rid of this. Now, I need to... How am I going to do this from low? I'm not going to be able to. Uh, maybe here? I 
think if I could... It'd be possible here, but I'm gonna have to do, like, ladder tricks. Because they're gonna have to stand on that ladder, get in here, and do like this. How to add the lurk command? Do you have to go? Do you have to specifically say lurk? If so, it's just... It's already there. It's exclamation lurk. I believe I have it set. Let me double check. Let me double check. Oh, Nat. Oh, boy. That would have been a horrible, horrible death. I'm glad I checked before I went. In fact, yeah. Let's slow it down so I can see the messages. It's supposed to give you a, like, a happy go lurking message, too. I may have turned the message off. Oh, wait. Now try it. Now try it. I don't think I have to hit a save button. There we go. It might take a second to sort of catch up. I suppose. And it may just not be a YouTube. Oh, there it is. It's also set up for just Switch or Twitch, too. Let me edit that real quick. Let me get sweaty with the commands. Uh... Let me... Oh, no. See, one of the problems is, like, YouTube has not embraced the whole community-driven stuff. And what I mean by that is... Like, there's no, like, whisper functionality between anything, really. There's no... YouTube just needs to snap their fingers and decide they're going to own the space. Now, if you guys could do ex uh, experiments to see... I don't think it does anything. I think that's just literally a message. Unless it's telling Streamlabs that you're lurking. And maybe inside Streamlabs it's like, okay, they're lurking, so I may not get active messaging. Barbecue? Double checking these dupes, because we're about to have plenty of stuff. I think we're fine with just the barbecue. How are we... Oh, uh, all the heat must have been pushed over here. Huh? <gasps> Why is this broken? Where's the oil coming from? Ugh. One problem at a time. One problem at a time. Hmm. So it happened at the insulated liquid pipe, so that means the crude oil flashed. Is 
it's not even possible for that crude oil to have flashed. Minus 40. Minus 20. I mean, like, it's plenty. We'll back it off even more. But that's exactly what happened. No, is the... This was set too cold. And so it's one of those rare times where... That blurb just happened to come across. So what we need to do is... You need to have at least twice as much space between it. So if it's 40, we need to subtract 28. So, you know, minus 10 would be plenty of room. And that's all that happened. We will get in there. We will fix it. But why was that going to be a pain in the butt? Speaking of pains in the butt... Down here. This. This is dumb. Like, this is really, really dumb. Like, we've done a lot of dumb things. This one. Yes, oil does flash at minus 40. So that must be what happened, even though it was set at minus 20. But again, when you get up these high cycles, things don't work 100% the way you'd expect them to. And I know some folks are going to say, well, it's because you have the thermostat after the thermo aqua tuner. But the check so so imagine let's say that 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 theory only matters at the very beginning the very very beginning because what happens uh, that's too much I want to mop that because what happens is all the liquid equalizes right oh look at Matea look how slow Matea is bye because what's happening is the thermo aqua tuner cools it, it goes around in its little circle, and it it's already been cooled. And you're not dumping off enough chill to be in that weird threshold to where it would double chill it. But let's say if it's set at minus 19, or let's say if it's set at minus 20, and you chill it because it's sitting at minus 19, it's still only going to get to, what, minus 34? Minus... 33? Alright. I just want to make sure I have a small enough to where it's got, uh, it doesn't flow. Rhett says it flows at 37 and a half. Well, if that's the case, I could have left that. This is a half a gram, or a half a kilo. And let's be done there. That is 22 kilos. That still seems a little too much, but we're going to check your math, Rhett. We're going to check your math. Here we go. Now, as soon as this thing's... Depending on what the simulation decides to let out first, the steam, or make the nap the drop of the steam come out, we may lose a little bit of steam, but it's not going to be a big deal. Correct, Lucas. If you set it at minus 20 and the liquid's at minus 19, the output goes to minus 33, right? Which is fine. Uh-oh, this is bad. It's not going to drop? It's staying stuck? Okay, there it goes. Um, exactly. That's why it doesn't matter if the thermostat's before or after, if you play with the numbers right. Um, but also, it'll still all eventually equalize. But let's hypothetically say that the crude oil went down to minus 19. You could even say minus 20, and for some reason it's still greenlit, and said, okay, we're going to flash it to minus 34. That's still not in the, the, uh, the freezing range of crude oil. All right, and then we have our cute little stair right here. So now we can build our thermal aqua tuner. 
Right here. Look at it. What do we got here? Sedimentary rock? Igneous rock? Let's go. Where are we coming in? I guess this is now the planning time, right? We should probably move... Maybe the kitchen here? Hmm... We have our two mess tables, so this is kind of a good setup here. So the duplicates can come in here, grab the food, and they go right to f right to eat. So maybe the infinite food locker is going to be here. But it's going to be a little tricky with the dropping off, right? It's going to be based on filling a fridge that only this can see. So let's get rid of this. And now at least we know where the pipes are going. We will use aluminum. Of course we're going to use aluminum. Behave. And... It'll be in a corner. Shipping. Conveyor chute. Just like this. And then we'll have to drop some um, some bleach stone and stuff in here, so... Yes, yes, yes. I guess we will actually set up a easier... ...liquidy lock situation. Yeah. This should be fine here. Just like this. Let's get rid of this trauma table. Do we have any other place with trauma tables? Just in case. You know. Nope. So we'll set a couple up over here. And then we'll dig all this in. We'll create our liquid lock. And then we will be able to get in there and work in a vacuum. Boom. Boom. Uh, none of these will have to be in yet, because this is the only tile we're going to care about. But we will do it like this. Brilliant. So this is working. Now we have our Thermo Aqua Tuner. Did we actually get power in here the right way? Oh, we're paying for it? Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, that really makes me want to do this. But... You can't always get what you want. I know half of you just hummed that. Don't lie. Do not lie. Then we will create our little loop. So this is going to be right there. Bottle emptier right here. Yes. Um, yep, perfect. Come on. Next to the massage room. Oh. Nat, be still my heart. I mean, you're absolutely correct. Ugh, what was I thinking? We'll even touch this up a little bit, huh? Oh, maybe oh, a nice little hangy pot right there. And then you know all hospitals have... 
What we, we're about to build an obsidian marble block. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Couple, a couple small. Do we have any granite? No, we're actually out of granite. What are we feeding? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know what we're feeding. Our slicksters. Brilliant. Um, couple of mirth leaves. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Now that the important business is done, let's figure this out. All right, so this is in. We have power. We will use some beautiful iron running out of the coppers. I don't like it when we're running out of the coppers, but... Brilliant. We're in. Now the plumbing is where we're going to be more careful. Because we do need to make sure that we're not losing too much temp. Thinking is hard. Liquid pipe, thermosensor, say right here. All right. I don't care that it's coming through this tile, especially if it is... insulated. Wow, we are running low on materials. Igneous rock again. I do need to check. What are they eating? Granite. You know what? I think we're just done. Chat, are we done with hatches? This is only five, seven and a half. Of course, we don't have this set up yet either. We've been waiting for all this material. I never get squirreled. Squirrel! Um... I'm trying to debate on whether or not we have enough food to cut ourselves out of here because we're there about to starve. So I think we're just done feeding them. This might be a mistake. We'll let them eat what's on the ground. But after that, it's... We're done. We have plenty of Slickster eggs right now. The only issue right now is... They're still growing, so all the eggs are tending to go in here and not being eaten. Those should be pretty gloom because... Where are the eggs going? Oh, we're making omelets out of them, aren't we? Yeah, we are. And we have our gristle berries. That are overheating. Why are you overheating? Irrigation. <laughs> we've run out of polluted water. We've run out of water. I would love to be able to get this water to go through, but it's too hot. We would need to expand which we could do, we would need to expand this metal plate and bring all this water in. But for now, we'll just let it stifle. I mean, this thing erupts in 14 cycles. Good opportunity to get rid of the water, though. Yeah. Somebody reminded me that we have to do this eventually. Eventually. I don't want to squirrel myself with it right now. Because you know how I get. And it would be really good to have infinite food storage right about now, too. Alright, so insulated tile. Wow, we are really low. In through here. Out through here. Sweet. 
So if it's coming in, direction is like this. And yes, we are going to use insulated inside of insulated because we need this to be rock solid. That's going to connect into there and then just leave. And then come back home once again and insulated. Now this is the in. And this is the out. Okay. So like this. I think it's perfect. Good luck, Citrus. Win Big Mo. Oh, Naptha. All three gas reservoirs are broken. Why aren't these running? Because we're idle because of all of this. <laughs> you know, there's a way to fix that. Let's waste some power. <laughs> oh, we just don't have enough room up here. Oh, look. See? We've done it. We're getting there. But once we clear up this space... Calero, why are we scalding? Mm, some of it's a bit warm. Now see, this is confusing. We had other abyssalite, unless there was just so much stacked there. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. So, yep, that's gonna get really warm. Well... There's more than one way to fix this. Dut. Da, 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 da. It's okay. We're gonna be fine, chat. Oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of this picture, too. Get rid of the picture. How is the oil doing? After it passes through that? Yeah, see, it doesn't even transfer much. Because of all the other material in there, we drop just a little bit of liquid in here. Uh, what do we have? I guess we have oil. Oil's a crappy conductor, though. Nap that would be good, but we don't have any. Let's just do normal water. I think we have enough. If I can reach this tile, I don't think I can. I'd like to put a metal tile here, but I don't want to drop all this. Do we have an errand? No deliveries? Okay, we have no water. Uh, let's try some oil. No deliveries! Oh, we have our little thing here. Let's go enable auto bottle. There you go. Now, why is the steel going up in temperature? Everything should be averaging out here. And there should be a lot more cold materials in here than hot. For instance, 12 and a half tons of dirt at 39 degrees. Hmm. Yeah, the oil... 
the oil takes 30 degrees worth of temp, so it will cool it. It's just going to take a little while. Look at this. It starts at 30, ends at 60. That's what I call a transfer medium. All right, so this is going to get a little warm and toasty, but it will regulate out. It will fix itself. And eventually we get this thermal aqua tuner is still working great. And this one's still working. It's just not working very well. I mean, look at it's even got the ice in there. Yeah, this is fine. I still think it might just be a little buggy. It will all eventually go down, but it does take a long time to this meth using this method. Oh, these tiles are so hot. This is about to get ridiculous. Ugh. We will give this a few hundred cycles to calm down. I know it's hot. You're gonna be okay. Mutt. Uh-oh, we already have one. We only have one in here? Okay, let's go build these real quick. <laughs> Get out of there. Okay, beer killer's down. Adam's down. Whiskey, it's time to get out of bed. Uh, somebody go get Adam. Okay, Adam's in. All right, now Adam's fixed so we can get beer killer. Oh, Adam just passed out again. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. All right, you've been saved, which means you can get out. Just so to go rescue somebody else. So what we do? Nope. Pause. Beer killer. Go over here. This is Adam's. Why is beer... Oh. Okay, we got another one. We got another one. Oh, this is all... Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. Just gotta close this... Nope, let's not go over there. Nat. Nat, no. Come over here. Let me figure this out. If I... Put in a suit. We can... We can replace... We can fix these from top. But I need these ones built. And... Oh, you're gonna go in there anyways, Mutt? You're almost dead. Matt... Where are you going? Okay, you're just going to grab it. Why? All right, we're going to have to pay attention to this. Get Nat, we're not standing in there. Really? Oh. Duplicates. All right, at least the materials are right there now. Good job, beer killer. Of course, weren't you just in the bed? Good, 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 good. All of our materials are going to be trapped behind a wall for a little while, but, you know, it's okay. Oh, bear killer's down. Somebody should come rescue. There you go. This is all within health and safety standards. Nothing to see here. Beautiful. 
Now we need to get in there. I suppose... We can just destroy these. It's actually not very hot over there because it's not sitting by the tiles. So we'll let this be. Look at that, Chad! <laughs> no one died! Whoo wee Oh, somebody made a mess. I don't even want to know. Why don't... We should play... This should be a Tetris. Maybe I should be a Tetris streamer. Why aren't you using the bathrooms? What? Oh, we're out of clean water for the bathrooms. For how much longer? 13 cycles. Okay. Look how low materials we are. This will only be once this is full. And then we'll fill this up. Like this. Because this water doesn't need to be, right? I just gotta make sure the piping's right. Because I don't actually want to join with... Everything, because I don't want to feed this hot water there, so it's got to go here. So this is sort of in the way. I would like to do that. That would be... That would be the money. I guess I could do this. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do, chat. We're gonna have some some potty issues for a minute, but you know, we're okay. No one's dying. Maybe it's time to expand the metal block. Oh yeah. That would be a good idea too. We got we just have too many projects right now. We will do that. This is just temporary to get the bathrooms back online. Whew! Why is nobody working on this? Hello? Oh, we're hurting on oxygen? That doesn't make sense. Oh, because this water comes from that. Oh, you giveth and you taketh. Okay. You giveth and you taketh. Let me see. That could supplement it. I don't mind it supplement it. It's just, it's hot. So, for now, I guess we'll just deal with it. It's going to be a little awkward for a minute. Nobody's starving. Stop that noise. I need these done quick. Please and thank you. Look. I believe if you check the about section of this channel, you'll see that I don't claim. The only thing I claimed is be fabulously good looking. Which, I actually walked that back to. But we're making it happen, chat. And the, see, the difficult thing is we're doing this live, right? Like, that's never fun. Alright, we're gonna make a lot of messes, but no one's gonna die. It's just, you know, polluted water. This needs a little bit of naphtha. Yeah, they definitely die really quick from being hot. That is one of the true thing the few things that they didn't nerf. Because to me, you should be able to die from disease as well. You want slime you want slime lung to mean something? 
make it kill you after, say, add an immunity system, right? Like dupes can build immunity, sort of like in RimWorld. And then it would instantly make the Apothecary one of the, you know, most required buildings out there. And you wouldn't even dare go into anything without having... You wouldn't dare go into, for instance, a slime biome without having pills to deal with that because you'd kill your dupes. It's perfect, chat. Conveyor shoot. We're awaiting delivery of igneous rock. Are we really hurting? Yeah, we have zero kilos worth of igneous rock. This is a sad state of affairs. Um, I guess we're gonna use some sedimentary rock, huh? That water should be flowing soon. There we go. And we're doing everything with it but feeding bristle blossoms. It's not going down though. Okay. Give me my bridge, stupid thing where you can't select the bridge right there. Hopefully this is the right bridge. Alright, no, we don't want to go up. So this is fine right there. I want it to go across, and then if it's too full, go down. It may work. I, I can't believe pliers aren't a part of the regular vanilla game. There's no reason to unionize. Everything is fine here. That desalinator is going to be churning now, though. This will be perfect, though. Um, so where were we getting our water? This is how much I forget. Oh, it's 50-50. I see, said the blind man. Which is fine, this is fine. And we got oxygen flowing again. All right. Woo! We can continue with this project now. <laughs> All right, that is good there. This looks good. I think we're ready to lock this in. Uh, steal that mafic rock back, though. Once this is sealed in... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa. I need rails in there. There we go. Let's build the rails. I'm gonna see if I can do this and blow... I'm, I'm gonna mess this up. Okay, chat, you ready? Cocky Chick taught me this years and years ago. Now I have performance anxiety. Alright, one sunny day in the middle of the night, two dead soldiers got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other. Drew their swords and shot one another. A deaf policeman heard this noise. He came over and shot those two dead boys. If you don't believe 
This story is true. Ask the blind man. He saw it too. I'm here all day for you, chat. I'm here all day for you. This is good. This is really good. Now we just need a way to inject a little bit of, uh, a little bit of coolant. Ah! Everybody right now is trying to figure out what I just said. <laughs> oh, I love it. Your split is only using clean water from the sieve. Yes. And it, it works whenever there's enough polluted water. Um, this is actually the first time in 900 cycles we've burned through this. And it's because we started expanding, I guess, probably how many trees and stuff we had. And we added another electrolyzer here. But it's going to be okay because now we're just going to have the polluted water come out one side and the regular water come out the other. But yeah, it is an issue. Alright, see, this is not... this is blah. So we're gonna have to do one of these funky things. Uh, actually, no. I could do this. There we go. That will be fine. Alright, this is stable, right? We're stable here for a minute. We can go check on our other, other folks. Did we remember everything in here? Good, good, good. Still a vacuum too, chat. Still a vacuum. And... Perfect. I can even get it further over. Right there is the spot. So we gotta destroy this. Because you want as much room with this auto sweeper that you can get. Perfect. I don't know the ladies and jelly spoons. Um, and then we're going to need, because the first thing I want to put in here is that bleach stone. Shipping, conveyor loader right here. This is our conveyor loader to go in the freezer. Okay, right? Right? This is going to take a second of serious consideration. Because what you get, you can end up doing is getting a big old loop. And you don't want the big old loop. So I want this conveyor loader to be able to reach. So all the cooking is going to have to be done over here. And that means the fridges are going to be done over here. Which is... Eh, I'm not as excited about it. And I could do some sort of squeezy thing. Because I was preferring to put the kitchen over here to have the fridges over there. And you could do some tricks with some um, automation, but... I don't want to. The key is... This auto sweeper can't see this conveyor loader. Yeah, this is going to be fine. We'll just do this. And, yep, yeah, this is fine. 
right here. Get rid of that. Oh no, do not get rid of that yet because I'm gonna want a copy off of you. All right. Is everybody taking notes, chat? So the idea is that we want this auto super to be able to reach in here and grab ingredients. And be able to throw it in the grill. We also want this auto super to be able to grab, grab in here and grab food. In fact, we can actually use this one. Perfect. Oh, that's our medicine one, isn't it? Is that our... Automation. Ugh. We can move this one. Yeah, we can move it. We're gonna move it, chat. What's in here? Junk. Actually, I don't need to destroy that at all. Just need to remove it, copy the settings here, and then change the automation to match right there. Beautiful. Oh, no, we want that one. We can get rid of this one. We need to copy the settings over here. We need to add some of this. Uh, we're probably... I failed to add the light bulb. This is fine. This is fine. Sun lamp. Perfect. Then we'll add some automation over to the lamp. Turn the lamp on whenever we're doing some cooking. That's right. Now, here's where it's going to get trickier because of this. We may have to move this over. We'll see. They have to have another auto super here. And it needs to where this one can't see it. But it's close enough to grab the completed meals. So yeah, we gotta move our apothecary over. All right, we'll do it. This is this is actually working out really well. This is going to be a nice system. Let me give me the knot gate. Thank you. Uh knot gate's going to have to go here. This goes here. This goes here. Not get into here. I guess this is fine. We don't need to remove this, right? We can leave that there. This comes in here. All we're doing is playing match them. So I don't have to think. Because that's kind of the problem, right? With a game like this and streaming, live streaming, is you actually have to think. And it's just not something that you can play mind-numbingly. And being able to do that and carry on a conversation and read chat can be difficult. All right, so we don't need this, but we need to copy these settings over. Now, why didn't you pick all that medicine up? Dupes must be bored. Okay, and you can go in there. I don't think we need the backup grill. But we can leave it for now. It's fine. It's disabled right now anyways. Alright, now, get... Dave, we were not working there anymore. But I suppose I need to copy the settings over to this one. And you need power. We can just deconstruct all that.
<laughs> Think I'm out. All right, I'm gonna read it, Rhett. If you say, is is it done? If it's done, I'll read it. All right, so this one is a duplicate. We don't need that one anymore. That can be deconstructed. This one can reach here. Perfect. Then we can put another auto sweeper right here. You can be removed. And now we just need one shipping container. Right here. And this sends things in. That is an infinite kitchen on stream with only a minimum. Why, why aren't you working? Oh, there's no power wire. Well, it's not all working yet, okay? Like, what'd you expect? That saves a little bit of wire there. This is being deconstructed, right? There's no reason to have it. So now we have our little medicine section, then we have our kitchen. Perfect. Now, the sooner we can get this done, the sooner we can start racking and stacking. Oh my gosh, calories are low. Why are calories so low right now? I, I guess we haven't been cooking? What? What's going- why aren't we cooking? Well, looks like we're going to do another purge. We'll do a purge. Quick panic! <laughs> Alright, this is good. This is good. Other than the lack of calories. This has all the correct eggy things. 16 grams of carbon dioxide? Why? I'm confused by that. I gotta fi finish this too, because we, we're gonna need those eggs. This is on the back burner. I guess right now we're using the eggs and omelets. This is fine. I want to know why we're not producing as much carbon dioxide, though. I mean, we should have all the carbon dioxide in here. Oh, this is gonna... We're gonna have to make sure that's filtered. It is. Good. We don't want steam. You know, that's one way. We could just put these up here. And it'll take all the steam out anyways. Yeah, but we sh we should have had... We should have had enough food regardless. Because of all the omelets. I know omelets aren't great, but... Yeah, they're hungry, but they're still happy. We probably need another rancher. How are we doing with ranchers? Oh, we have plenty of ranchers. Our priorities on ranchers set well? Yes. Yes, they are. Oh, Matea doesn't have a hat. Matea? What are you supposed to be doing, Matea? Oh, you're a future mechatronics engineer. Okay. Operating. Building. Calories will start coming in again. I hope. Uh, we need a little bit of nap in here. Please and thank you. It shouldn't take too much. It's not too bad of a loop. And we're gonna set this at... Minus 18. Minus 25. Just to confirm, our beautiful nap can go all the way down to minus 50. 
Minus 50. Our hatches, yeah, hatches are done. They have no more food. And we don't have the minerals to feed them. There is some food sitting there, though. Alright, are we cooking? Thank you. Oh, oh, refrigerator for one. Can we put all the ed edibles in here? No, not all the edibles. We want... Let's say five kilos. This is plenty of gristleberry, omelets, barbecue. I think that's good. There we go. Uh, now we... A mechatronics engineer has not come by to build these rails yet, which is rather annoying. Are we waiting for the copper? No, we have eight and a half tons. And this is gonna take... Everything. All the ingredients. Anything we want to throw in here is going to come across this rail line. Okay. Uh, did we manage to add any naphtha in there? Because I don't want to waste too much naphtha. Why are we all idle? We have suits. Let's go check on Nutriolano for a minute. Mini pod. Take some dirt. Uh oh. Oh. Well, that's one way to do it. It pushed all of our debris out. The crude oil is maintaining. It's at 20 degrees. It looks like some of it did pop. And it is going down, though. See, 104.9, 104.8. It's going down. It's just going down slowly. Okay, what can we do? I want more oil in there. We can do this. Oh, we can't get out? Like, are we out of oxygen again? This is still dormant for another 15 cycles. Oh, chat. Maybe there was just some mistakes in design. Some early design choices. They did get this going, but there's no... Alright, step one is going to be put... Uh, to take off this door. Okay, no going in there. Don't go over here, it's not worth it. But we can disable this. Alright. Nobody can go in and out of the steam room, right? Good. Now let's add some more water to this subject. I'm wondering, because this is the first full cycle that we've gone. We're gonna run out of sandstone. Oh my goodness, uh, igneous rock. Debating on how to get through here, right? Oh. Brilliant. Then once that's connected, we'll just make a hole in this and we'll be figured we'll figure it out fine. Now the bigger problem is 
the permanent water. This is... We're not using water for anything else but soda. And soda doesn't use a lot of water. Five kilos. Five kilos per use. We only have seven dupes here. So, now that this is set and running... The entire next dormancy phase or activity period of this cool stand that should be enough water. Uh. Chat, what do you think is going on here? <laughs> uh, everybody do the, the dance. Everybody do the manual generator dance. And it's still not using any... Oh, it's because this is broken. They can't even use that. So what are we getting power from? We're not, so let's re-hook this up. We'll figure that out later. Yes, Nat, we are getting to space today. There they go. Because it's on zero zero. <laughs> oh man, we can set it at ninety ten. The good thing is we're about to have oxygen. You know. <laughs> uh. Let's go check on the shore for a minute. Oh, good. This is probably way too much. We've probably already overfilled it. Oh, we have no power. That would help. Oh, look at these awesome... Look at this! This is so nice. Can you put... No, the stupid hanging baskets. I'm telling you what, the hanging pots, I know there's a mod for it, but they should be a background feature. But it's fine. Water's flowing. Who's scalding? Matt? Why is it so hot here? It shouldn't be hot here. I mean, we have radiant liquid pipes. Let's add another radiant liquid pipe, right? Why did we make the radiant liquid pipes out of steel and not aluminum? Oh, I guess we didn't have aluminum. <laughs> we'll add one more right there. This is almost done. I want to make sure that we get in. Oh, there's diamond in here. Hello. Hello, diamond, my old friend. Somebody come dig this, please. Thank you, Adam G. And we'll get rid of that one, and that should be, oop, and this, and that should be all that water. But then we'll need to put a tile right here. Apparently we need some digging training on this colony. The pitch of pepper nuts are actually growing. It makes me kind of not want to disturb their slumber. We'll see. This is a future, future project. We have enough emergencies right now. <laughs> Let's get those conquered first. And I think. I think we're done with soda for a little while. We're done with soda. No soda for you.
I mean, worst comes to worst, we can just send water over from the other colony. We have plenty of water over there. All right, so this is now hooked up. Good, good, good. I... Thank you. Refill that loop for me. There's not a lot of gaps in it, but there's enough. Welcome to the ASMR stream. With the liquid sounds. Almost there. We also don't want to overfill it because that aqua tuner is running. I think this is fine. Perfect. And we'll flip this back to normal. All right. One emergency down. 15 to go. Let's re-enable this. Uh, let's make sure we dig those out. That's a little bit of water. It won't last forever, but it'll last long enough. And then once we know all the duplicates are back home safely. What are you... Calero, why are you just standing there? Go to our recreation room. Did we never finish our recreation room? Hmm... At least they're not sta- Nope, they are. Beer Killer is just standing by the Wheeze Warts. What is going on here? Oh, I guess the oil's now hotter. Because it's chilling this down. Look at this. We're already down to 78 degrees. Please wait. Saving. Uh, hopefully these won't all die. I thought we replaced all this. Uh, awkward. That needs to be fixed. Those need to be fixed. We can come up here and do this. That should get in there. Maybe? Can you reach? I forgot the last stream we had built these. So we'll get rid of this little guy here. Go fix it. That should fix any sort of brownouts. Perfect. What up, Jaws Tech? Take it easy, Mutt. And we're getting there here. Alright, so I think we're done with this colony for a little while. I think we've done all the things. We'll come check back to make sure that we have enough water and we're not going to starve. Or asphyxiate ourselves. We only have 13 more cycles until this starts erupting again. My cooling loop? Just don't say that. I thought I stopped it in time. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. One at a time. Oh, is this still connected in here? I hope not. Maybe it's... Stop. Stop. Maybe it's the bridge. I did not break pipes. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, I did break pipes. It's always my fault. I should never second guess anything else. 
Well, at least you can see the gap. That's how much oil we'd have to add. If one of the mods could, uh... Add some points to Homite. Good looking out. But now I want to add more oil. Thank you. Boom. Starvation? Please tell me no. Okay. Huh. Thank you, Kulero. Where's that big gap? Here it comes. This is going to be precise timing. I mean, this is a large liquid loop. Look how long it takes just to get it around. Yes. And coming back up. Feed me, Seymour. Bing, 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 and stop. That's enough out of you. Uh, above. I guess we can... Allow this to empty, just like that. And then get rid of this liquid bridge. Now we should not have to mess with that again unless I do something stupid, like deconstruct things that I shouldn't be deconstructing. What is wrong with you? We have water, we have fuel, we have fire. This should be working now. Yep, just as we expected. Just as we expected. We overfilled it. Let's get rid of the bridge. Nope, not the insulated liquid pipe. The bridge. Bridge, thank you. One would say, Kay. One would say. Alright, let's... Did we overfill? No, because it stopped. And it's still running perfect. Well, we gotta slow it down to see if it's running perfect, because you want to see smooth. See how it's kind of like... See how it's kind of giddy-upping? Giddy-upping? That's a word, right? Giddy-upping? We need to remove just a little bit. Uh, we need a plumber on aisle three. Okay, and... That should be perfect. That should be fine. Perfect. Ish. There's one empty in there. We're not paying attention to that one. All right, so now that that's set, we can finally start throwing in food. Um, we want everything edible, right? But at a lower priority than this. This is priority six. This is priority f five. Can't be reached. Perfect. So, yeah, everything edible goes in there. All the edibles. Omelette? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's... Let's do the right thing first. Where's our bleach stone? Because we don't want anything to go off before we get the bleach stone in there. <laughs> um, consumable or bleach stone, please tell me we have some. Yes! Yeah, the stuttering you saw in the second time, Doc, was just from the speed. It wasn't from anything else. 
we're still going down in calories. Which is odd, because we still have a lot. It's, I guess it's the bristleberries. We'll take an oxifern. We cannot add people quite yet. Seven cycles. Seven cycles. That's it. I'm going to need you guys to lay more eggs. It's 106. Why aren't they laying... I guess we could bring this one online. Molten larva. Bring all the molten larva eggs up here. And now... That can be getting rid of. So I guess we'll start on the process of doing this. Well, I actually want to watch the bleachstone come in first. Hello, bleachstone. Uh, nine. Just a little bit of bleachstone, please. I love it how it keeps saying current in and everybody keeps messing it up. We have to keep an eye on those calories, though. That is not great. Um, I'll bet you we can feed them the hot water for a little bit. And then just deal with the temperature. And then after this project, we'll get this online, and that way we'll have a double source of water. But at least this way, it'll get some of the berry blossoms going. For now. This... Yeah, see, we have no molten eggs. Uh, I guess we're... These need to be on six. And then this one needs to be powered. Power... Alright, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. The great thing is we can do this now. We don't have to put that there. A little bit of power over here. Did you do an attack, Aaron, on all the Dracos on purpose? Yes, I did. Um, we're running a little too close on uh, calories, so this is kind of like a stored food storage. We use it to create plastic and uh, reed fiber, but we have plenty. Of course, it says we only have five reed fiber. What have we done with all of our reed fiber? Hmm... Maybe we should put a shearing station in here? There's no hydrogen, but it, I guess it doesn't hurt to get a little bit extra. Yeah, we'll shear those two. Um, it's inaccessible. What's inaccessible? Rockets, nothing's inaccessible. Don't tell me that. The bleach stone. It would say inaccessible. Okay, it's in there. Whew! How much is in there, though? Uh, a ton. That's fine. That'll be fine. Right now, there's only a half a kilo worth of chlorine, but it's working. The reed fiber is inaccessible. Nothing's blocked off here, though. We just might be low, because we've killed all our Dracos here that supply it. I will, Glenn. I'm too busy trying to, uh, squirrel myself. 
All right. So now we want all the edibles. All. No, no, no. All the edibles. Allow manual you. Oh, no. Oh, that was that set at five for some reason. We need to bring that back down. This is good. Uh, can we get rid of this bleach stone, please? Brilliant. Deep frozen, sterile atmosphere. We've done it. It's only a thousand cycles in, but we finally have infinite food storage. We can now build this back up. This should actually create more heat. But it's not going to have to run too often. It's not bad. Steam here. There's 480 kilos. And yet, there's only 32 grams in here. Let's do this for a little bit. But let's not let me forget. We need to do the math row. Remember, we can hold one kilo. Oh, no wonder. Well, I guess that just happened because I just destroyed those. Thank you, Carl. Yep, that is conveyor loader is for phosphorite. It's on a rail system. Uh, can we please hurry with this? We're losing carbon dioxide. I mean, this has got only four kilos. I guess it probably dumped a lot. We'll keep one going in there. Just so we don't forget about it. But, so one kilo per second is going in here. Every Slickster needs 20 kilos per cycle. 20 kilos per cycle. Let's, I'm opening up the calculator. 20 kilos per cycle. Actually, let's count the Slicksters first. This is uh, 32 Slicksters. So 32 Slicksters times 20 kilos per cycle is 640 total kilos. Divided by 600 seconds, we actually have to deliver 1.06 kilos per second. So we need to provide one kilo here and one kilo here, but we only have one gas pipe right now. So we need a little bit more per stable. So we just need to have a separate run here. Which this isn't too bad. We'll set up a duplicate line. Literally just duplicate the whole thing. I'd like to do it like this, because it looks all sexy and symmetrical. How is this line doing, by the way? Oh, it's got a small load. And we will go like this. And that's good there. And then we'll go out this one. Like this, right? And now we're getting back to regular land. Do are we gonna have enough materials? What are we using right now? Mafic rock. So far, nothing, nothing bad. Beautiful. And then we can put two over here. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, is this gonna work? Of course it's gonna work. Of course it's gonna work. It's gonna take a little bit of building, and I'd feel more comfortable if they'd hurry up and finish that, but yeah, it's gonna work. But now it looks like we do have enough Mavic Rock to continue with this. So, all this needs to be built. 
Oh man, we're spending it so quick. Because this is going to be the giant pool that's going to hold crude oil and eventually petroleum. Oh my gosh, we're already down to five tons. And there goes our mafic rock. Ugh. We just don't have enough raw minerals. I wonder what we have over on the other planetoid. Did you connect power? Uh, who knows? Details, Nat. Details. Yes, I did. Um. Yeah, what do we got on Neutriolano that we can spare? Do we have any Mafic? No Mafic rock. I guess we'll just look at, uh, ores. Or, not or, um, mineral. Oh, 340 tons worth of igneous. But it's hot igneous. I don't necessarily mind grabbing it. What do we feed? And we're not feeding Drekos over there, right? So, all of it will just come in here. Where did we get brine water? No telling. So, all of the materials will just come in. Where are we? Here. This area will get hotter, but we're insulated in. Almost. While we're empty, we actually need to do this. Uh, we'll make that a 6 2. Um, yeah, I think I'm fine with bringing in the hot igneous. We're going to destroy this one, weren't we? I know, it's not symmetrical. Yeah, but we're f we're using granite to feed these Dracos. Alright, so yeah, we're just going to drop off some igneous rock. And we're going to see how this goes. I mean, what's the worst could happen? Alright, so we just want to say manual, allow manual use, not the metal ores. Give me all the igneous. And watch that conveyor loader overheat. Oh, we haven't allowed them back in here yet, have we? Water's still looking good over here. Oxygen's returning to normal. We don't have a space program yet. Oh, there's the overheat I was looking for. Do not care. Just repair it. And we will deconstruct you for now. I don't want to waste the lead. I actually want to block that off now. That should reduce some of the igneous rock, but that should be where all the hot igneous rock is. Oh, I guess there's a bunch in here, too. Oh, look at this. We got rid of it. No sour gas. Perfect. It'll be a little warm, but it gives Lashura some very much needed raw minerals. Igneous, 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 right here. Beautiful. Now I have to draw this without picking up 
the mouse, because as you can see, we're about to run out. But when we do... Oh, it stopped me! It didn't leave, let me keep going! Well, that's ridiculous. Oh, we don't need to go right here. Beautiful. There's actually less to do on this side. Echo sounds done with these dupes. This colony has been... ...stressful? I guess is the word? And we're radiation- radiating vomit? Why are we radiation vomiting? It's... Why is there crude oil right here? Oh, that's where I deconstructed the pipes. Okay. Woo! We're down to 55 degrees on the tile. 61 degrees here. I really hope all those other materials are in there. <laughs> and I'm wondering what happens. Because this wasn't everything we had. But there's a chance it ate it. Well, I guess there's one way to find out. Yes. Actually, let's not do those yet. Let's dig open this and see what's in there. There's all our goodies, and they're still very, very hot. Let's go ahead and seal this back up. <laughs> can we... can we dig? Or can we build, please? Oh, we actually should have went in there. Alright, we're gonna be stupid. Can we get in there really quick? Before it gets too hot. Come on. They've always been such good builders here, but lately it's been really slow. Oh, up here comes the scaldings. All right, Adam, you look like you need a break. Nope, I don't want to hear you complaining. We also need to move the dirt. Somebody... Somebody save the dupes. There's one dupe saved. Mutt's about to go down. We're so close. You know, we can build this from the other side. Alright. Trust me, after you see tomorrow's episode, you'll see why I'm an expert in, uh... Incapacitation management? What are you doing? Get out of there! Is that... Hmm. Why is this saying it's not in a stable? Are the, the cots interfering? Yep, conflicting buildings. Well, we won't remove them quite yet. <laughs> uh, we'll put... Uh, oh, we, got, we have more room right here. It's beautiful. Seriously, we can't just build these? Picking, why are you picking up sandstone? Oh, Ghost Rider. <gasps> what is... What is this liquid? What is this liquid? Something melted. I don't care, as long as it's, you know... Petroleum! Ooh! I'll take it. Okay, do you see? Do you see? 
There was no reason for Ghost Rider to go back in there. Ghost Rider might die. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, this is risky. This is risky. Somebody go get Ghost Rider. Thank you. Whew! I mean, of course Ghost Rider's not gonna die. I'm gonna say that was a pro level move though. That was that was kind of pro. Look, no one can put their dupes into just enough danger. Why Why won't you let me be the boss of you? Just build this tile. What is more important? Oh, we're all injured? Everybody on the colony's injured? Well, whose fault is that? It ain't mine! Yeah, we're gonna get there, but I wanna finish this one first. That way they can't- can stop getting in there. You know what? I'm about to print out new dupes. I'll print out new dupes and replace all of you. <laughs> Thank you, Calero. You're the bestest. Ah. Oh. When in doubt, just send Calero. Oh. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, chat. That's some sweaty gameplay right there. <laughs> At least we got all the stuff out of here. And it's slowly cooling down now. And nobody else can get in here. And it's everything's working. For some reason, we're down to 9,000 calories, but that's... 960 calories! Is it because you stopped laying eggs? Alright, you guys can get out. Okay, get out of the bed. We're done. We're done nursing our injuries. Oh, this is perfect right here. <laughs> we will make seven cots. That's enough for everybody. <laughs> oh, here comes the cooking. All right, uh, unreachable food. Oh, we're down to 1,600. I cannot even with this colony anymore! Ugh. Okay, let's- let's put some ice on it. Hmm, just when I thought we were out of the... The- out of the- the woods. We were not out of the woods. Apparently we'll never be out of the woods. We're doing some cooking right now, so maybe that will... That'll help. Look, there's nothing in our... In our little guy. Oh. I would like to know what happened to all of our food. I get it. Apparently, our bristle blossoms are much more... Apparently, we are relying on bristle blossoms a lot more than we thought we were. And what is going on here? Why do we... Oh, this must be the steam. 
Steam's not making it all the way up, even in the insulated pipes. Which is fine, I'll keep repairing that. Hmm. We still have more calories in here. They need to hurry up and cook them, though, because... We have some hungry folks, okay? How much longer until... Three cycles. Three cycles. And why haven't... There must be ice in here or something. Because we keep getting water. Alright, the ice is... Kind of fixed this. Yeah, you guys have earned... Your soggy feet, okay? You have earned your soggy feet. I don't even want to hear it with your soggy feet. It's what you get. Just when I thought I was out. They brought me back in! Unreachable food again? Four? Can we cook the meat? Hurry up, Gregnack! I see you sparkle streaking. Oh yeah, there's... Come on! Who's our other cooks? Maybe we should activate both grills now. Um... What would you do? We have two cooks. That should be three cooks. We have three cooks! Why is no one on the grill? Unreachable food is okay. It's starvation that you worry about. And we're still... Why are we... Ultimini? No, you can't start vomiting! Ha 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 ha, Nat. Oh, Nat. Your idea was good aesthetically. But we kinda did not take into account the radiation that is coming into the, the medical bay. Oh. Oh, man. I love this game. I think we're fine here. There's nobody's going over. I guess they are going over there once in a while. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. No, they, they are hungry, hungry boys. So people were looking and wondering how much they eat. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Not blood. What am I? Calories right here. Because they are a duplicate, they eat 1,000. Because it is the highest difficulty, they want 2,000. Um, if they are a a hungry hungry boy dupe, the what is it? Um, bottomless stomach. Then it's 2,500 calories. And now you know. Why is there no one on this grill? Let me guess. No materials. We just. We don't want to prioritize our grills. That seems rather foolhardy. We have the meat. Some meat. This is slowly working. We should have brought the ice down a little bit more. Because it does not seem to be melting quick enough. That's odd. Normally the ice melts quicker. And we still have some eggs coming through. And by some, I mean a lot, right? Let's do it the smart way. There's still 27 eggs in there. We still have all these calories. If they would hurry up and... Okay, there's we finally got somebody cooking. 
Here we go. There we go. Hungry Boy Hard Mode is 2,500. That's right. That's a lot of calories. Alright, we need to pay attention to this area just a little bit because this is a little too close. I'm a little surprised about the calorie intake from... We should be getting enough in omelets just from this, but I, it says they're starving. Which means that would cause them not to lay as many eggs. So we actually need to prioritize this. As soon as we can get this online, they'll start eating more and laying more eggs. That had to be... I guess that was the difference. There's some Moltens coming online now. Molten, Molten, Molten. We don't... We have not unlocked the Molten Slickster yet. So we have to pay attention because as soon as this thing... ...is ready... In other words, you have to catch to make sure it says Molten in the Critter Drop-Off before we can select it. Because if this Slickster gets out, you can't, we'd have to use a trap to grab him. Whew. Speaking of Hulk, I watched She-Hulk. Yesterday. Oh, that looks ugly. We'll change that back, boy. Um, or last night. Okay, this is better. Not bad. The first episode I thought was pretty good. The trailer, um... The CGI is much improved from the trailer. So I was happy about it. Alright, we will leave that water there for as long as possible. This ice plate needs to hurry up and melt. This is not permanent. This is only because we're bringing in that hot water right now. And then once we're ready, then we'll be able to convert this into a second metal plate. And we'll get all that going. In fact, we might be able to use naphtha too. Thermal conductivity of 0.2. Now polluted water is better. Polluted water is just better. So you can look at both of them. Polluted water has specific heat capacity of 4.1 and thermal conductivity of 0.5. I mean, it's not even close. So for efficiency, you want to use polluted Yeah, it's too short. Those, uh, those Disney, Disney Plus, I guess, shows, that is one obnoxious thing about them. Hurry up and melt! There we go, right before our eyes. The water provides a nice thermal barrier. We're going to be mopping this up forever. All right. Crystalberry's coming back in. Very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. First, Molten Slickster ETA. Well, it depends. This one says it's only 21%. Four and three. Why is there cold? No, 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 no. Oh. There it goes. We weren't ejecting the steam. Now, the igneous... The insulated gas pipes are hot enough to where it can keep the steam going until it gets up here. Eventually, there'll be no crack pipes, but that's where all that water is coming from. Water in my oil? No, no, these are from carbon dioxide. It's because we're siphoning up some steam that happens to develop in here. And there's a lot of it right now, so unfortunately it's what we have to deal with. 
Eventually it'll go away because it's all super compressed. <laughs> Woo wee! It's gotten a lot hotter. So the polluted water is not making it there as often. It'd almost be better to throw these petroleum generators down here. But that's what's happening. Some of the polluted water is flashing from sitting here too long. It is tiles of water on top of the oil by the incubators. Yes, 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 I got you here. That must have been steam that actually made it in before we flipped the filter. Thank you. Can we hook up Utamoy? With some, uh, with some echoes? Let's get this repaired. Our slicksters are hungry. What's going on here? Oh, it's broken? Come on. Alright, we'll just deconstruct it. It's doing that thing where it doesn't want to. Thank you. Thank you. Hurry up. The Cliff Notes version of the Echoes. We added a loyalty bot that awards 10... that award, uh, awards one Echo for every 10 minutes that you watch. Hmm. I'm wondering if it'd be better to liquid lock this in. Because when they're going to get in here, they're going to lose a lot to the vacuum of space. So if we locked this in, we wouldn't lose any. We're going to have to look at that too. Because every time we, hold, we open the door, it's going to happen. It shouldn't matter with how much we're going to be pumping, but you know. So then, whenever we have a raffle, people will be able to spend the echoes that they've earned... to buy tickets. The more tickets you have, the better the chance you have. So maximum, I think you can use is 10 tickets. I should probably change that maximum. Uh, you can go away. You can also die. I just assumed we'd have plenty of food. I mean, look at all the pips by themselves that we have. We're only feeding 18 dupes. I guess it's, you know, whatever. Once the ears is done with this water, we'll mop up some more. Or put down some ice. There's a peep. There's a pip. I don't want to kill the baby pip. We'll take the copper ore. Oh, the stupid steam. And it broke another pipe? Just get to the filter! Maybe we should put the filter down here. Oh, if we put the filter in here, then we can just keep throwing the steam in here. Alright. Change six. Change six. What happened to my naphtha here? I don't think we mopped that up. We wanted to leave- Oh, the carbon dioxide overrode it. See, that's the danger. But we are gonna dump- Oh, no, it's... 62 kilos in here. We won't be able to dump anything into there, either. Mmm... 
What do we want to do about the steam? I mean, we could just leave it. But eventually it's going to get to be so much. I'd rather get rid of it. We could also cool this area down. The problem is, if you cool it down, we won't be running Moltens. But... We could cool this whole place down to under 100 degrees so that the water doesn't flash. Chat, I think that's what we're doing. I think that's what we're doing. Alright, get in there. You guys can stop for a little bit. Um, in fact, we'll do this cheeky little thing right here. Now, I was thinking about taking a, a bridge and forcing more on there, but this is already a full pipe. So we will just do this for now. Then, how much is that? 187? Well, that was too much. Oh, now there's too much to mop too. Oh well. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Uh, they probably don't have mafic rock. I thought we built these out of igneous, though. All these are out of mafic rock, and they don't have any more mafic rock to repair with. Is one of the problems. So, we will replace them all with igneous. Very nice. Not my first choice, but, hey, you know, that's what we gotta do. But now let's play the priority game. We're going to add yet another thermal aqua tuner in here. It's going to be right here. Then we're going to build another cooling loop. And this cooling loop's only job is going to be to cool down this area. I would like... I suppose we can cool it down just from here. The problem is then all this steam. I guess the thermal aqua tuners will keep it hot enough in there. But at that point, we'll actually be feeding. We won't be able to do the metal tile thing. We actually have to replace these. Now, there's enough pressure that we should be able to replace them right now. Because there's 300 kilos here and plenty of kilos there. That's the idea. We could just completely ruin this, but we'll see. A little bit of naphtha everywhere. No big deal. Oh, Some got out. To be expected. But we need to mop this up before we do anything else. Why? The lock's not holding. Why isn't that lock holding? Maybe it's just bonkers right now. That's exactly what it is, is a bead pump.
That should stabilize in a minute once the temperature's all fixed. But that steam should have never have gotten out to begin with. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Glad to see this worked. I mean, that's a win. Yeah, I'm not worried about this. This can all be repaired. I don't care about this. Except this is the power transformer for our food. Well, just go ahead and put a steel one. Just in case. While we figure out the temperature problems here. Alright. Now remember, this used to be rhyme. <laughs> this is still causing problems. Here we go. That shouldn't be doing this. Oh, we got more here. This is going to be a problem for a little while. We're just going to have to get used to it, okay? Chat, this is what pro-lover play looks like. Now we have this Thermo Aqua Tuner. We are going to do this whole thing and then get this thing sealed up and never ever come in here again. I mean, it's one disaster after another. Not liquid pipe element. Okay, they're Thermo. Here we go there. So we're going to come in through here, go like this, and then we're going to come out through here. And then we're just going to provide a little bit of cooling. What do we got here? We're not using copper. Uh, I think we can use aluminum. This should work. And it just means that we're not going to be running uh, Moltens. Not a big deal. Which it means a petroleum boiler in the future, right? That's This is how you do it. Now this is aggravating. But we've got to get rid of all that steam. At least the steam deal, uh, the steam pump is good. No, you can all get destroyed. Just like that. We don't need to keep repairing you. 63,000, 68,000 calories. That is good. That water should be about coming online. Oh, it is. Thank goodness. Let's get rid of the hot water. Goodbye, hot boy water. Now this is coming from this way, so... We don't need this anymore. But if it's coming over here and it's full, it will go past and then go through. So this is still fine. Which means this water should be cooling down. Eventually. The key though is we need to get it one more time. With some cold water. That way it'll drain all that warm water. So we'll put the ice on top, it'll drain the warm water, and then all it'll be left with is the nice cold water. Yes. Um, which I didn't notice, but I think the polluted water maintained. Probably because we also have the polluted water being joined up here. Now we will need another power transformer, won't we? Where should we put you? 
I suppose we can put you right here. Uh, we might want to hurry on that because that is our petroleum generation power. Yeah, let's just make everything nine. This is the way you play Arnie, guys. When everything's a nine, everything gets done faster. It's actually a speed setting. So, right now, I'm telling them this to do this four times as faster. I'm telling them to do this nine times faster. And now you know. <laughs> yeah, I feel your pain, but it... Um... My other series that I'm playing right now in video form... This is ridiculous. Go away, water! I didn't start with any water. Or any water geysers. Alright, this is gonna be good right here. Automation's in. A few more pipes. So now we just need to load it up. So we can... Do this. What's the best way to do this? I think it's just to share these loops temporarily. And then we'll take this from here and just force it on like this. That doesn't need to be... Stop it. Cancel. Why won't you cancel? The bugs are getting real. The bugs are getting real. All right. This can be deconstructed too. When in doubt, panic. I mean, I thought this is how everybody did it. All right. We're getting there. When we need to sweep this, get all the naphtha out, which the naphtha is not going to be a problem because we're going to need to feed it into this loop. And just to confirm, what's my high? I can go all the way up to 538. That's beautiful. Okay. And I am making this a relatively small loop, and that way the nap that has a chance to go around even more. Uh, I should probably not do that. I should do it like this. Also bridge it on. Beautiful. That must have been a lot of steam. I, I'll be I'll be honest, I bet you the steam's still coming out. Because it's doing this weird little buggy thing. It doesn't like nothing should be flashing through there. Especially not gas. Like steam. But it is. But it is. We'll be able to add more water to this. I'm not too concerned about that. There we go. As long as I can keep that mopped up there, and the rest of this steam falls down there, uh, and we're back. I just want to mop it right there. That's the only spot I want to mop. Liquid pump. A little bit of the bottle emptier action. We're down to 20,000 calories again. Because... Did this not get finished? 
Why don't you have power? Oh, we have another one that's broken. You know what? That'll work for a little bit. Alright. That's fixed. Okay, we have an iron ore one here. We'll put another iron ore and another one. Alright, this loop is full. I should be able to deconstruct it. Uh, did I forget to turn it off? Oh, there's no power in it, so it should be perfect amount. Okay. We'll say 95 degrees? No. 75 degrees. Now we just need to get power. Using some iron, of course, because we don't have much else. I, we should be sending some of that lead over. Alright, dupes. I need you to hurry because you're gonna starve to death. Which is very odd. It's a very odd sensation. I mean, we should be getting enough critter eggs. Let's do this. For now there. And then check our Dreco stockpile. No Drecos in our stockpile. 16,000. All right, Gristleberries are back online. Stress is going up because everybody's getting sopping wet. Can we please finish this? Thank you. And the water coming in should be the nice water. It is, 18 degrees. So this should be the last one. Now the question is, are we gonna get some Bristleberries in? Unreachable toilet. Again. It's never filling enough to go over. This is okay. This is okay. Go potty! Go potty, don't make a mess! Here you go. And we made one mess. Can somebody award wit? A few bonus echoes? We're getting there, chat. Don't worry, we're going to space. Somehow. Alright, this is good. No power? Uh, we're still working on it. So this is a- this is a change, right? I get it. It's a change. No one likes change. Change is bad. Uh, you're gonna need more in here now? Why did you... Naptha? Naptha? Steam pressure is not great, but we're going to be able to dump more in. As soon as this is done, we'll use this same pump to pump more water right in directly into the room. There we go. All this water is going to come crashing down. <laughs> it's a lot of water. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to take a little while. But it's going to be good. I don't want to mop, I just want to... Well, I do want to mop this naphtha. And this one here. Finally, we've gotten the steam under control.
Good. No, David. Everything is crashing. The good thing is we're almost to starving. I mean, that's always good. <laughs> Lady Rough with the super chat. Yes, it is a dumpster fire. I mean... Nobody wanted to watch normal playing. Thanks again for the super chat, Lady Ruff. Uh, did they not put Naptha in there yet? No. We're still going slow. Because we're doing all the mop commands. The good news is, though, now that the steam... We're not going to have the steam in here. Because it's going to be lower than 100 degrees, which means we're going to get more polluted water. And we're going to get more carbon dioxide. Instead of this weird carbon dioxide slushy mix. Why aren't you pumping? Uh, you must be getting your power from here. That's a problem. Let's not kill off our slicksters. The Molten died. This has got to be a new one. No, 53. Okay. We're not going to be doing Moltens anyways. So, in fact... Watch this. We can remove all of them. No. Apparently, i got to click Remove on every single one. Um, the reason why... You don't want to start Moltens. If you know you're not going to go Moltens. But we do know we're going to be going... Larva Eggs. And that way, we can start increasing our productivity here. They can start consuming some of this carbon dioxide. But we are going to have to put a liquid lock here. The doors... My design on my other video is much better than this. This one's not as good. I'm not sure how much we lose every time. But considering where the these are, the Slixer should still be able to eat it. And that's all we care about, right? Why are we still overheating? It should be cold enough in here now. Alright, that is full. And that's probably a problem. No, it's still running. This is good. But just to help it out, we're going to throw another radiant liquid pipe right there. Now, we need to drain this. So we will drain it right over here. Turn this off of here. And that way we can dump more steam into this room, because right now there is definitely not enough. Yeah, the verticals are much better. Much better. And there's only... one door versus, like, all of these doors. But this is still fine. It's fine! Here we go. All of that's gone. I think I think we are done in that room, right? Is this done? Vet up. 
Vetup Bro with the super chat. I want to support you even if it's so little. Hey man, just watching is support. You throwing something else on top of that, that's just cherry on the, that's cherry on the pie. 106 grand, oh, uh, we're still bead pumping. Okay, yeah, this is done. We gotta finish this right now. We're still losing steam. Hurry up. No, we really need you to finish. Really need you to finish that. Oh, there's a little naphtha in there. To be honest, I'm okay with it. Like, I, I cannot even. I cannot even. And now we just need to add some water. Enable auto bottle. I don't care how you get it. Just get some water in there. We might need another steam turbine in here. We'll have to see. We'll see how these two do. Apparently, we're only doing little bits of water at a time. There we go. There's carbon dioxide in here. Chat, I'm gonna lose my mind. How did... Okay. It's okay. At least the carbon dioxide will be at the bottom. Ugh. It's funny too because if I would have if I would have redone it, if I, in other words, when I had that napped in here, what I should have done is rebuilt the tile so it was just under the 30 something, so it couldn't have slipped through. That's what created the bead pump, and that's what created all this disaster. I'm okay with this little bit, like it's just tiny grams. It's gonna be one tile. I mean, we're also gonna be stuck with a tile of napped in there forever, so it's not a big deal. We'll keep filling water in there. 20,000 calories. Okay. Let's finish up in here. I promised chat that we're going to space. So we're going to go to space. In fact, one, two, three, four. I don't think we even need to do these up here. Just like this. All right, now the dupes can finally catch up on all this. Ooh, new printables. Ice, just what the doctor ordered. Is this on sweep only? Yep. Little ice, thank you, sweep. We can always use some ice. Uh, this water's at 22 degrees. Perfect. But now we want to get rid of it because we don't want the sopping wet debuff. Gristlesberry's starting to come through. We have food in our deep freezer. Don't know why that eggshell's not being done. Do we have eggshells on? You must not be my eggshell. Are you the eggshell? Eggshell to lime. Fossil? Let's make you eggshells. Salt and eggshells is fine. Here we go. I know we've been a little busy. I'm a little surprised these steam... These aqua tuners have not made more steam yet. Chat, I think we need to restart.
This thermal aqua tuner is literally not going up in temperature. What's overheated? Oh, still with this transformer? Something's going on with the mechanics. We're gonna do a quick restart. Uh, save. <sighs> I got a new computer that can actually play Ani and run other programs, and I just realized I don't have to choose between watching Echo and play the game. Congratulations first. I know that's a good feeling. You know what's not a good feeling? Playing in this colony. <laughs> I cannot wait for multiple reasons. One, I'm an editor, right? I have to edit all this video footage. Content creation takes a different type of computer. You can do it with just a power gaming rig, but I'm going to go so far above and beyond the scope of reasonable when I build my next rig. Oh, oh chat. Chat. There'll be multiple videos. I'm gonna have to milk that for some content. Still 70 degrees in here, no big deal. It's still not going up in temp. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> this doesn't exactly work anymore. <laughs> Oh, we'll have to clip, clip that off. You know what? We're going to go back in. We're going back in, chat. I don't know why this thermal aqua tuner is not heating up. The fact that your start was so quick says you don't need a new computer. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate the compliment, but my processor is about five years old. Um, I don't need a new computer. Let's uh, let, yeah, fair, fair Jaws Tech, fair. I don't need a new computer. I want a new computer. Just a little bit. She's to give me a little bit of nap though. But the thing I'm waiting for is the 4000 series uh, GPUs. And I'm probably going to get whatever their 80 series is. Ah, uh, that's too much. You're a clown. I should have been doing that on slow and not fast forward. That's my fault. Of course, there's no steam in here anyways. I mean, does it really matter? No. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah, we're going to throw a temperature shift plate on each of them. We're also going to get it cleaned up. We're going to vacuum it out. But you shouldn't, you don't need a temperature shift plate behind a thermal aqua tuner. It's sitting in water. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's not supposed to need any of that. Oh, this is the wrong one. That's supposed to go up like this. Go up. Around. I mean, it's not great. Like. Leave my squirreling alone. Let's go up this way. Over like this. And then. Down. Up. Up through here, down, up, down, and in. That'll be the new style. 
This one actually had more room. No! Give me the pipe! Alright, so we're gonna go up, down, up, down, and in. Yeah! Comes in through here, goes out through there. Uh, we are not replacing you with copper. Perfect. But the reason why we're doing this now because we need to deconstruct these because they're going to pop up. We also need to finish these, run something through this. That way it'll use that. What is this one on? Nothing. Yeah. This will be fine. We'll do this real quick. Let's do one batch. Nope, stop doing that. Thank you. Sweep, sweep. Now we just need one of these little guys. It's 70 degrees in here, so let's use steel. We don't have steel. We're going to deal with it. <laughs> the iron. <laughs> Ugh. Power? Can I get some power? This is weird. Guess we can stop this for a minute. If it's above 10,000, turn on. Guys, okay, still haven't gotten this fixed. Oh, we're out of igneous rock again. Let's go back over to Nutriolano. Send some more hot rock. How are we doing? Oh my gosh, the coal melted now. Oh, chat. So the coal melted, so nothing in there is actually getting the mechanics of, uh... ...cooling down. This should be back on now, right? Oh, yes it is. Beautiful. All right, just get in there. Ah, oh, that means there's no oil in there. We need some oil in there. Mm, oh, I guess we can do it this way. Because the oil is here. We just need to deconstruct this, deconstruct this. Uh, if you guys could hurry, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Now I just gotta do this again. And you guys are gonna be trying to get all that igneous rock, so we'll take off manual use again. Nobody's trapped. No one's dying. All right, now... We did the dirt, we did the coal, nothing else should be that hot. It's coming in at 31, leaving it 55. It's not bad. Liquid phosphorus. Disappointing, no one is dying. Look, pro gamer moves, okay? Pro gamer moves. Oh, this is done. This is finally done. Our poor... Uh-oh. Yep, our Slicksters are starving to death. Right here? Iron? All 
All right, this once this gets done vacuuming all this out, we'll come back in here. We'll remove this. This is plenty of water now. Actually, we also going to put some temperature shift plates because... Which I don't like putting temperature shift plates into these because I don't like temperature shift plates touching insulated tiles. So, it's kind of a thing. I suppose we can be done with this. This is plenty of steam pressure. Um, still want to know if you are missing a tile in the top right hand liquid room. I don't know what you mean by top right hand liquid room. Liquid room? You have to be more specific, Nat. Oh, did we get our one piece of steel? Good job, which means... This should be good. And we're not having power issues, so we can actually go back, uh... Right here, we need to go back on forever steel. This is fine. We could use it. And now you can go like this, and you can go away. Beautiful. All right, so it got dark there for a minute. I mean, uh, it's okay. It's been missing drywall and the molten slickster. Ooh, thank you. Not that we have anything in here yet anyways, but I feel you. Thank you. Nat, go ahead and give yourself five bonus echoes. The liquid room is a club in Edinburgh. All right, so this is going to be good. Um, I guess we can start this now. That's all going to go down there like that. All the oils are going to drop down in here. Okay, <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> then what's going to happen? We're going to take one of these beautiful conveyor chutes. Sorry about the scrolls. I'm going to put it right here. And then... Unfortunately, all the eggs... are going to drown in their own oil. Uh, nope. This is not the right place. It's got to be down there. Yep. It's dark. I realize that, but hey, desperate times. Calero, help. <laughs> All right. We're almost there, right? We're, we might have to stream just a little bit longer because we're going to get down at least a, you know, beginner space program. We're only going for data banks, right? Like, so... It ain't that big of a deal. What is what is all this? Why is there oil here? Uh, crude oil still at 30 degrees. That's good. We gotta get in there and fix that. If that was a naphtha... Oh, it's close. I should, I might actually be able to do it. Oil. Steam. Let's do it. Oh, I don't know how much... There's only 388 grams. Oh, we're about to do it. We're about to do it. Let's do it. And when you're doing something stupid, you always do it in fast forward. Okay? Dear crude oil, please hold. If this doesn't work, um, we're going to have to delete this colony and start over. <laughs> oh boy. 
Good luck, Nat. <laughs> Yay! Oh my goodness, it worked. All right, let's get in here. Let's get all this cleaned and mopped up. <laughs> now, what caused this problem? Oh, we already fixed the problem. It was set too low, and... <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. 388 grams of crude oil. And there's all this carbon dioxide. Like, we're definitely playing with fire. Hurry up. Pick all this up. Like, this is, this is a now thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, let's make the simulation work harder by going faster. Crude oil, 388 grams and holding. <laughs> oh, we, we have no place to sweep those. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Pro level gamer news. This just in. 388 grams of crude oil is more powerful than 90 kilos worth of steam. <laughs> Kay loves watching the dumpster fire, too. All right. Can we... Uh, this done? Yes, it is. So we can go sweep only all... Just to be able to get this stuff up. Why are you running that way, ghost? What, what could you possibly be doing right now? Going to store some... None of this is on sweep. Store granite. Why are you picking up granite? I didn't ask you to... I said sweep only, right? Oh, he's going to grab the granite for the hatches. Okay. I just saw the word flash in chat, and I was like, oh! <laughs> oh. Please pick these up quicker. The water's at 55, and I'm not loving it, but until we get better, um, until we get better coolants, like, that's just what we've got. Let's put that in there. And it's fixed. Well, almost fixed. This could use a little bit more coolant. Now the question is, will it, it should go both ways. Nope, it's going the wrong way. So let's do this. Uh, you need a little bit more. I love the pliers mod. It's my favorite. That's probably too much already. Dang it. That's alright. I've got another trick for that one, too. <laughs> it's like playing Tetris. Look at that. Look at... I mean, seriously, chat. If that wasn't pro-level gaming, I don't know what was. But I needed more efficiency in here to keep this water colder.
There's drywall missing in the Molten Sixers Ranch behind the grooming station. Oh. How did you see that? Like, what? Oh. Not granite. We're not going to use granite for that. What is... Oh, that's still of our... We don't have any mafic rock, so we need to use some igneous. Do we even have igneous... We do have some mafic rock. Okay. Anything... Wow. Wit must have like an 8K television. Nice job, Wit. Nice job. That's a good squirrel, too. Ooh. Copper ore. I would like to add a dupe. I know that's a little dangerous, considering everything that's happened, but I want everybody to be able to use the raffles. And I think we actually have a new way to do raffles, too, by the way. In fact, let's do a test raffle. Calero, if you can type in... Exclamation point. Open raffle. And then just buy one ticket for it. No one else buy the ticket, because you'll be wasting your tickets. If you want to waste tickets, because this is nothing. It's supposed to work. Which means it's not gonna, right? Like, that's how that works? Uh... Stand by. Thank you. By the way, does anybody want to know? Well, I guess you guys already know. Because you can hit the top command. On the my web applet thing, I have an ability to see how everybody's doing. Yeah, it's supposed to be open raffle moderators. Hmm. And then it's supposed to hit with some responses. <laughs> Your time is important to us. Maybe it's just because... This one here. Or maybe that one's... I don't... I don't know. What's a repeat giveaway? Oh, no, no, that's not it. Well, it doesn't work. I don't know what to tell you. I have to continue to work on it. That is the correct command. Let me, let me try. I mean, you're... You should have been able to do it, because you and I have the same rights in this thing. just bothers me. Why won't you work? Work, clown! Oh, thanks, Kay. I'm glad to be here. I don't know how to test off stream. We're almost- we're down to micrograms here. Um... This steam... ...needs to melt. <laughs> I guess melt's the right word. Uh, or condense. Before... Let's actually stop steel production for a minute. We need to get all this steam to go away. And once it does, then we'll be able to turn on these pumps again. And in order to do that, we got to get all the carbon dioxide out of here. So it's getting close. 
It's getting close. Ooh, we got water here to pick up. All that beautiful steam. This is working good. They're building the rails. These need to be set on all the critter eggs. And now you need power, huh? Now, I don't think it'll overload. Because remember, these only work every once in a while. So we're going to try it, but we may have to redo this, right? This may have to be one of those things that we do again. Because the only thing working on that is a couple of incubators and stuff. Is that water in there? Of course that's water in there again. Let's clean it up. Oh wow, this one's almost done. And we do have some flowing. Why not move the CO2 pumps further down, away from the steam? Um, we could. But a person is absolutely right, because we're lazy. And right now, we only have one stable's worth anyway, so it works. The vacuum speed stinks. I could go like this and just add another one, but again, I'm being lazy. Power? Do we have some more power? Thank you. That'll help. Alright, back up to here. Oh, that scroll hurt. Alright, gonna need one here. We're still... I guess we're still just getting to all the tasks. All of this is gonna stink because that's a lot of gas. Or a lot of heat that's going to hold down in here and transfer through here when the rocket goes off. Where are we here? How tall is that? 29 tiles. It's going to be a while before we have a 29 tile rocket. So I suppose we could put it on this platform until we build a more proper sort of situation. Yeah, I think that'll work. What, what, what do we do? Yeah, that'll work. We'll deal with it. Um, food's going good. Food's going back up. A lot of omelets now because the Slicksters are being fed. They are happy. Which means they're laying eggs, which means we're getting a lot more omelets. But this is good. This is why we wanted the infinite food storage. So it doesn't matter how much we cook. We'll have plenty. And none of it will spoil. I don't know where that polluted dirt's supposed to be going. I thought we had some polluted dirt storage somewhere. Oh, go pick up the naphtha. Don't just leave naphtha laying about all willy-nilly. We're back up to one reed fiber. That's great. Did I have... a tank full... Oh, I'd have to bring all the hydrogen all the way over there. No, we supposed to have a hydrogen sort of dumper offy thingy? I guess it was right here. It's no longer. We do need all the things. Look at this. Well, that's odd. They're back down to a reasonable temperature. 
The natural gas in them is at 116. Why? I went through all that nonsense. You still don't want to go, do you? Okay, okay, let's... What about that? Yeah, now you want to go. No, I, I can see the commands. Like, I have the, the list of commands that I can change and edit. If you're trying to do some research, it's a uh, it's a Streamlabs cloud bot, but the and the cloud bot is where all the the extra commands and everything live. I went. I wonder how much natural gas we've wasted. Oh, so much because we should have been siphoning it out this entire time. All right, but that's now going in there. That's working fine. See, something's still... Something's still not set up right. These batteries are going down to 20 kilojoules. I suppose these are draining too. Okay, that works. I'm happy with that. All right, beautiful. It's not the most interesting on viewers. Oh, come on. Viewers love talking about bots. It's a th it's a whole thing. All right. Finally, this is vacuumed out. It was probably right as they finished. Uh, do I put the therm the temperature shift plates in there? I don't think I want to. But I guess we will. We'll stop being hard-headed. I think it's the bottom right. Because that's where it cracks. What are we going to use? Ugh. We just don't have anything. We need all the materials. Not iron ore. Not obsidian. Mathic rock! Whew. See? Chad agrees with me. <laughs> Um, vacuumed out. That means we can turn this on again. We want this set down to 75 degrees. Chat, it's still not going up in temperature. Neither is this aqua tuner either. Maybe it's still jumping chill into this water. Okay, the water is going up, so it, it will flash here in a moment. Okay. Apparently, just the water was too cold and too much. One more thermal aqua tuner. Or temperature shift plate. And now we can get out of here. Yeah, it's fine. We'll wait for it to do it the slow way. The water is heating up. It's just, for some reason, heating up very, very slowly. This is like telltale bug sy symptoms, though. It's getting up to 68. We'll have to come back in a minute to look. The question is, what's the temperature in here looking like? Oh, 
125. The Napa definitely has some work to do. It'll eventually get there. But right now, it's got to beat through all this steam, and there's hundreds of kilos worth of steam. So it's going to take a little bit of time. That we won't see this. That we will not see this episode. Starvation? Why are we down to zero food here? Like, all of a sudden. See, this is just lies. This is enough to feed seven and a half dupes. We only have seven dupes here. Which means something's got to be end up cooking soon. What are we doing with temps here? Eh, we're still not there. Oh, Whiskey, how are you doing, buddy? I can't click. Thank you. 600 calories? Oh. Oy vey. Alright, so we gotta go to Lashura. No, we checked that last week. There were no bottomless stomachs. We're gonna give them... All the gristleberry. And I mean quick. Allow manual use. Whiskey, you're not gonna love this, but you need to move over to here. Where is it? No. Where is the stupid thing? Where's the teleporter output? Right here. Okay, you need to move right here. I just realized that may not work. Okay, they did. They have to get it out of the fridge. So that's... If we're not bringing Gristleberry into the fridge, we're not going to be able to grab it. Uh, there's not a lot of Gristleberry in there, so that's good. Omelets, Gristleberry, barbecue. Okay. Alright, the food's coming, Whiskey. Hold on. Here it comes. There you go, buddy. Let's see what we get down to. 450 calories. Woo! You know, just putting up threes. All day. All day we're putting up threes. Ugh. Maybe we just bring all the gristleberries there for now. No, that's stupid. Alright. You can be done. It'll send the last little bit over. Yep. And now we should have five kilos worth of omelets. Very nice. Um down here. Five. Alright, so the way this works. Auto Sweeper picks up the egg, throws it in the conveyor loader, drops it off right here. Eventually, there's going to be so much oil in here that it will drown the Slicksters. Are these set yet? No. I figure we can probably get these going too. Even though there's not a lot of carbon dioxide in there. This is going to have to take till another episode. But, just to show you... I know... It's not a great start. Okay, chat? I know. But we started space. And that's... I mean, that's important, too. It's going to be a soda bottle rocket. Because we don't have anything for petroleum or anything yet. We will. Where in the world are we going to put a petroleum boiler? It's going to have to be right down here. Future site of a petroleum boiler. 
why there's a random liquid bridge there, I don't know. Space started. We don't need a telescope yet. We're not going to another planetoid. <laughs> I am looking forward um, to a few things in this colony. One, getting all the steam out of here, lowering the temperature of this room. It will take a while. There's 500 kilos worth of carbon dioxide per tile. That's a whole thing. Um, so this naphtha is going to be working a long, long time. You can see the naphtha right now is staying around 109 degrees. And that's with the thermo aqua tuner cooling it. Oh, I was making sure. I was like, those don't look like liquid radiant pipes. And the naphtha is coming back out at 123 degrees. And it, it's because, let's be honest, naphtha sucks. But once we brute force through this... Once we brute force through this... The chill will be able to remain. Calero says, I thought we were going for molten so we didn't have to do the petroleum boiler. Yes, we were. But remember, now that we're going to be cooling this room to sub 100 degrees so that the polluted water doesn't flash, the carbon dioxide in this room will be less than 100 degrees. And when the carbon dioxide is less than 100 degrees, these slicksters aren't going to lay any moldens. Because they... the... Their body temperature has to be between 100 and 250. So their body temperature is going to be around like 90 something, which is not going to be enough. So we're getting there. Okay? It's slow and steady. I mean, it is live stream too. I mean, it's pretty cool if you ask me. Make sure you uh, watch tomorrow's episode. It is a good one. It's a lot of chaos. So most of you will really enjoy it. <laughs> we could use those materials. We'll take those for the greater good. Uh, what else is going on with these colonies? Oh, we can get rid of all this. Absolutely. Um... Oh, the, I want to see what that other stuff is going. Make sure you keep your eyes out for the hidden Mickey. Mm. Eh, we're still very, very hot. Oh, the crude oil is... <laughs> that tells you something. The Thermo Aqua Tuner is not keeping up with the crude oil. That is absolutely incredible. This crude oil is 61 degrees. Again, we're just going to brute force it. <laughs> oh. Oh, chat. All right. Make sure you give some love to the moderators. I think we've seen every single moderator in the chat somewhere today. Special thanks to them. Special thanks to everybody who decided to spend their afternoon with us. Appreciate it. No matter if you're lurking or if you're not. You guys are all awesome. Next time, we'll definitely get some new dupes. We'll get some new dupes. We'll head off into space. We'll start cranking out the rest of our research. Yeah. It's going to be great. I'll keep it rolling in the background so you can enjoy the credits. I don't think I updated the number in the credits. I mean, these things are important. Let's, uh... Give me one second so I can... Change something, will you? The anticipation is killing me, chat! What do we got? Oh, it wasn't too bad. I kind of... I mean, we're only 40 away from 5,000. <laughs> Alright, chat. Much love. Hugs and love to all of you.
and I will talk to you soon.